Hey guys, I don't just here bring you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over some um, tutorial on Linux survival and how to get started on Linux if you're brand new to IT. Obviously, you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, right? comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. So today we're gonna go over um some tutorial on module introduction on uh using Linux. So if you're brand new to Linux, you're like, oh, just like me, just like me, I'm not, I'm not the best person when it comes to Linux because I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, comfort zone, and actually learn new skills, right? Like you have to learn new skills. You cannot just stay stagnated and not learn anything, right? You gotta learn new skills. So this is gonna be a game changer for you guys. Uh, one of the best places to go is LinuxSurvival.com, which is what I'm, I'm gonna show you today, and we're gonna go over it together. And we're actually gonna you know, learn, learn with each other. Let's learn together, right? Like part of IT is learning with each other. So let me share my screen. Okay. So screen one. So as you guys could see, this is uh Linux survival. Um, before I even get into it even further, um, I want to do a special thanks to the person that created this website. Um, their, their email is right here, support at Linux survival.com. And, um, the guy, the guy that created is called Guy Hamill. He's right here. So we're going to go over module one today, and then we'll go over module two another day, and module three the other day, okay, with baby steps. So here it is. So Linux Survival is a free tutorial designed to make it easy as, as possible to learn Linux. Even though Linux has hundreds of commands, there are only about a thousand you need to know how to perform tasks. This tutorial uses a simulated Linux terminal so you could practice with what you learn to try it out. Uh, ls without the quotation marks next to zoo prompt and then hit enter so if i type ls and you guys are like okay it says it says okay correct lx command actually does click the right arrow to get to the next page so i click lx and if you see what that you see what lx is it actually put in a bunch of things there it says chimps cobras elephant gorillas SQ monks. So what does that mean, right? What does that mean in, in plain English? So if you go to the next terminal or next page, it tells you these are uh, directories. These are file paths. So before we explore the command used to manipulate this uh, environment, let's take a quick look at the structure of the environment itself. Microsoft Windows uh, users will find the Linux subsystem to be familiar structure because it's basically the same. You kind of think of Linux as a file system, upside down tree. See the diagram on the right. Okay, so it doesn't look like a tree but try to keep an open mind in this diagram, dogs and cats. Click on the right arrow. So we click on the right arrow right here, right? So probably the most often used command is in Linux is OS is used to list the contents of the directory. For example, if you currently return directly with cats and you want to see what's contained inside of it, you type ls. So um, for someone that is it's not like good with Linux, just like me, I'm, gonna, I'm not a Linux guy, right? So if you go into CMD, and I'll show you what it, this is going to make more sense once I actually show you something. So if I do CD, and CD is to change the directory, right? So if I do DIR, so DIR actually lists the file files in it. So that's what this kind of is similar to that. So basically, I'm listing the file directories and stuff inside of it. So we have desktop, downloads, favorites, music. OneDrive. So that, that's basically what that's basically what um, LS means. If that makes sense in plain English, so it actually tells you um, the different file directories inside of it. Okay. So now, before we get bored, we get bored. <laughs> Let's put in an imagination situation where you put your Linux skills to work. Imagine that you are a zoo administrator, and the zoo has recently purchased a Linux system to keep track of the animals. You have been you have been asked to create a file structure which contains files of each type of animal in the zoo. Your first attempt was to create a flat file structure with all of the animals in the same directory. The structure shown to the right where the files represented by the pictures of animals to make things more interesting. Upon further consideration, you realize that you want to add more and more animals to the structure. It would be easier to manage if you put all animals on the same family, such as primates and separate columns. Click on the right arrow. So click on the right arrow. So now let's see what this will look like in the Linux interface. So the black the black window is a representation of Linux command line. Prompt shows you where to type your command. Type the command which lists the contents of your current directory. Then hit enter. Remember remember to type the command in lowercase. So you do ls. Ls is correct. Notice the files listed in alphabetical order from left to right. Remember that you can move uh, out of the the row by clicking and dragging into the tiles. You're probably wondering what the what the heck is SQ underscore monk stand for, right? 
stands for squirrel monkeys. Even though Linux will, will allow you to create a file with a long name like that, it will be plain type it. It will be plain to type it in all the time. So we shorten it. Got it. Makes sense. All right. So it says here before we move moving files around, let's take a look at one of them to see what it contains. We'll look at the Cobra file to make sure it's proper information. The more command in the view contents, for example, we'll see the contents of Cobra file. Cobra files uh, at the bottom of the screen to let you know where the text yet to be shown to see the, the next page of the text you hit the space bar. So click on the right hour, which is here, right? So let me go back to that. You guys are like, what the hell is this? All right, so this is more Cobra. So I guess it gives you more information about um, that path directory. It gives you information about it. So that's what this is. The more command is used to view the more contents of this of this specific thing, if that makes sense. Okay, it's time to start organizing our animal files. First, we'll create a directory using animals called primates. The command to create directories is mkdir, which is short to make directory. For example, to make a directory named dogs, you would type mkdir dogs. Now type the command to create directory primate. So to create a directory, you have to type M K D I R. And he wants me to, they want me to create this one. So that is correct. I'm so I'm creating a directory using primates. So how do I do that? I do M K D I R. So to create directories, you would type M K D I R on the Linux terminal, if that makes sense. Notice that the tree below has been updated. Now enter the command to list the contents of the directory. So so now I created a new folder, right? And it's called um, primates. Now I want to list that folder. Remember when I talk about listing items? So it would be ls. ls is correct because we are listing things on the folder. So now if you if if you notice now, uh, primates is actually there. I just created that folder, right? So you're doing ls to actually show what's inside the folder. So now that new file directory is actually there. So hopefully that makes sense. So now let's move the primate files into a newly created directory. To move a file, you use MV. So MV is to move a file. So examples to move a file called wolves into directory dogs, you would type MV wolf dogs. Renaming the file is simply called, simply a case of moving a file from our, from one name to another. For example, the renaming file wolves to um, uh, coyotes, I guess. So you would type uh, move wolf coyotes. Let's start by moving chimps into primates directory. Type the command to move file chimps into directory primates. So we would run the mv command. mv command is to move, right? It's the move command, right? And then we want to do chimps. And then we would do primates. And let's see if that's correct. That is correct. Excellent job. Now enter the command to list the contents of the directory. Again, we want to list the contents, right? So do ls. LS will give me more contents in there, so that is correct. So chimps is no longer in this directory, it is now in the primates directory. So hopefully that makes sense. So now if you see this picture right here, um, if I could annotate arrows right over here, which I think I can, let me get my arrow key right here. Um, let, me, let me actually draw over here. So this is here now. And I moved it and I, I moved it over. So you see that is that hopefully that makes sense, right? Um, that's basically what it is. It's really it's real easy to use. It's very user friendly. Um, I definitely recommend you you play around with this. It's kind of cool. Um, all right. So what are the next one? It says rather than listings get it gets tenuous by having you, you type the commands to move the other two primates into primates directory. We assume that you already typed them. Now we want to go into primates directory and, and admire our hand handwork to change directories. Use the CD command. Yes, it changed directory. Exactly. That's like that's like this. That's like me going to CMD and I do CD and I do CD um, users, right? And you can't find that, right? So we're gonna change the directory. CD C, right? It changes it. CD C um, dash users. So it changes it back to user. So I'm not moving the directory, change the directory. That's what that is. I'm moving to a different file path. So that's what that is, right? For example, to change the directory of dogs, you would type CD dogs. At the zoom prompt, type the uh, command to change primates. So it would be CD primates, enter. And I got that correct. So I'm changing the directory, right? So that wasn't so bad, right? 
So that's it. That's it for that one. And this is get current location. Some people mo modify their personal list configuration so that whatever they change to other directories, the command prompt changes to reflect it. The, the prompt to change the right is an example of one. Uh, it lists the uh, machine name first zoo, then A dash the, um, you know, the, the quotation marks and stuff like that. Finally, the current directory primates, it did not have any sort of configuration. You know, on the command that tells you what, what, where you are in the directory structure to find out where you use the PW command, which stands for print working directory, type it in the command prompt to verify your current location. Then at the second time, the command will list the contents of the current directory. So we can ensure that everything was moved into the, the, the directory properly. So um, let's type PWD, let's see what happens. So PWD is correct. So now it's, it's showing you uh, animal slash primates is a repetition of where we are at the tree. It is an example of the path name, a term where we describe the more detailed few pages. We actually fudging things out a bit here, but for the sake of simplicity in real life, our tree structure will probably be more complicated in the animals directory. We'll be further down the tree. Well, hey, who said this was real life exactly? So PWD, PWD you would type ls. So now it says type ls. So it actually corrects you if you type something incorrectly. So it says you want to list the directory, you type ls. And, and I did it wrong because I did pw to print work directory and I was supposed to type ls. So it actually gives me the information inside that directory. So hopefully that makes sense. So the cool thing about this is that it actually, um, as you keep playing around with it, you actually, you're going down, I'm going down the, the lines here, it actually gives you more information. So now that we, now we know everything as it is, let's, let's go back into uh level the animals directly to some to some more organisms to change your parent directly also known as parent directly you need to use a special argument argument to the cd command you would type cd when whatever you you see it refers to the cd above in the current directory in computer terms the word argument does not refer to disagreeing it refers to the thing which is a command acts upon and the, the example above it is the argument to the cd command in this case the thing is a directory you actually have to been yeah yeah you have you have actually been using arguments in most of the commands you have used so far. For example, if in the more cobras command, cobras is the argument to the more command. The thing is, in the case is the thing in this case is a file. Not that you always have to put a space between a command and its argument. Windows command prompt users might find that irritating since <laughs> Windows Windows not have this requirement. So, for example, Windows allows you to enter CD. And Linux would give you an error message. I I agree with that. <laughs> oh man. Type the command to change the directory animals. Then type the command which prints your working directory to make sure that you ended up in the right place. So it will probably be CD animals. That is correct. It says you have to type CD. After that, you click OK. You notice the command has changed back. The type command to print will work directly. So it's PW, PWS. You would type PWD. So it, it corrects you. That's why I like this because it's like user friendly. So I recommend I was going to type PW. I type PWS and press enter really fast. It's supposed to be PWD. So that's what it is. But it, it corrects you, which is kind of cool. Um. You're already you're already accomplished quite a bit of organizing. Now you may want to create a place to put your Cobras file. Suppose you, you choose to put in a directory called reptiles. You could accomplish your two steps. Make make directory reptiles, move the Cobra file into web into the directory reptiles. Type the command to execute two actions listed. Then above we'll have a quiz of the commands you learned so far. So make make a make a directory. So we're, we're gonna we have when we did CD, we did PWD, right? Um, CD reptiles. So remember, a CD CD is to change the directory. So it's not that it's going to be MKDIR, right? So it will be MKDIR. It tells you it tells you you mess up, right? Which is kind of cool. That's why I like this thing, right? And it says to move the typo, you have to do MV Cobra reptiles, which I, which I did already. So which which they did it for me actually. So that makes sense. So MKDIR um, is to is to make the directory and move the directory, and you have to type MV. Remember, MV is to move a file or, or something like that. So, so how do you how do you change the directory, right? So it's gonna be uh, change to another directory CD, move files in directories, 
It's MKDIR. This is going to be PWD, uh, MKDIR. Um, this one will be LS. Um, rename files and directories. Uh, this one will be LS. That one will be LS. Move files and directories. So CD, um, MV, sorry. Rename files, rename files and directory. Um, went over a couple of commands. So that this is this is why this is why I like this because you can go back and forth. So if you mess up, you can go back here. So it'll be MV if you go back. So change directory CD. Uh, move files MV. Um, list content is LS. PW PWD is this one. Make a new directory MKDIR. Display contents. Um, PW, it's not PW, it's PW something. So I, I, uh, it's like I said, I'm not really good with Linux. So like you could check your answers right here and it'll tell you like MV, this actually was MV and this one was actually MOR. So, um, congratulations, you're completed the first module and you should be getting a, a good feel on how to get it around Linux operating system to learn the remainder of the basic commands. Please move on to module two. So. I'm gonna stop sharing here. So that that's it for me. I just wanted to show you that I'm not a Linux guy, just so you're aware. You could tell I'm not a Linux guy. But if you do something like Linux survival and you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing, you'll eventually you get better at it, right? Um, I've been getting familiar with it using Try Hack Me. So um, if you don't want to spend money on Try Hack Me, you want to do it absolutely for free, you can do it on Linux tutorial. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope this helps you out. All right, take care. Peace. Later.